Today we're going to look at getting started with RAD CoverFlow. RAD CoverFlow is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. The RAD CoverFlow is a useful tool that can be used to navigate through a collection of items. These items can be any UI element such as an image. It gives you the flexibility to change camera positions and reflection opacity and much, much more. In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to get started with RAD CoverFlow. We will begin by adding images to RAD CoverFlow and navigating through them. We'll wrap up with adding additional items to RAD CoverFlow, such as a rectangle and custom user control. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're inside of Visual Studio 2010. I'm just going to begin by going File, New, Project. I'm going to select Visual C Sharp. Silverlight and then RAD Control Silverlight Application. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a name of RAD CoverFlow Getting Started TTV. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press OK. Our next screen that appears is the new Silverlight application. We're going to host the Silverlight application in a new website. We're also going to be using Silverlight version 5. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the OK button and then our project configuration wizard loads. So if we scroll down just a tad here, I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.navigation because this is where the RAD CoverFlow lives. And you'll notice that up at the top, telerik.windows.controls has been automatically added for us. That is because this is a dependent DLL. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Finish button here. And Visual Studio will begin spinning up our new Silverlight 5 project. So if we go ahead and we look under References, we'll notice that the Telerik.windows.controls and Telerik.windows.controls.navigation has automatically been added for us. And if we scroll up just a tad here, our XML namespace has been added for us as well. So we're just going to go underneath the grid and we're going to begin typing Telerik RAD Cover Flow and we'll just give this a name RAD Cover Flow 1 and then we'll just go ahead and we'll close out of the tag. So we've added a RAD Cover Flow to our Silverlight 5 application but we're going to need to actually add some items inside of it. So I'm going to navigate over under my project here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add new folder and I'm just going to type in images underneath images I'm going to right click add existing item and I'm going to select all of the images that I have in this folder so now uh, all of the images have automatically been added for us so I'm going to collapse the images folder and I'm going to come underneath my Telerik RAD cover flow and I'm just going to begin adding in some images. So I'm going to type in image source is going to be equal to images one dot jpeg and we'll close out of that tag and we can look now on our designer window and it's automatically added the first one for us. I'm just going to go ahead and take the same image tag and we're going to add just a few more items here. So I've went ahead and I fixed the rest of the images where I've added in images 2 through 8. And so now we're just going to go ahead and run the application and see what we get out of the box. So I'm just going to do debug, start without debugging, and we have our RAD cover flow. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select my next item. As you see, the animations are already built in for us. We're going to discuss in the next section on how to customize that. We can also see that we have the reflection down here at the bottom. We could also, of course, use our mouse wheel if we wanted to, to navigate back an item or to a next item. So this is the cover flow in action. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like to add another UI element. So we'll just go ahead and we'll close out of that window. I'm going to come my images here. We'll just go ahead and comment those out. If we wanted to, we could put maybe a rectangle 
in here. So let's type in rectangle. Let's add the fill to a red. And we'll go ahead and give it a height of 100 and a width of 100. We can close that tag out and we can look on our designer window and see that that red rectangle has already been added. Let's go ahead and let's select the rectangle and let's add just a couple of more here. So the first one was red. Let's go ahead and try maybe a blue, then a purple, and then we'll finish up with maybe a green. Uh, we can go ahead and we can run our app now. So as we can see, any UI element can be added to the RAD cover flow. So let's go ahead now and let's look at our last sample. And we're just going to go back to our RAD cover flow, getting started TTV. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit right click. I'll select Add. We're going to select a new item. I'm just going to go and select a Silverlight user control. We'll just leave the default name here. And after we press Add, I'm going to go inside of the grid and I will add a text block and we'll just give this the name of cover flow and we'll give it a horizontal alignment of center and then a vertical alignment of center and give the font size of a 48 finally we'll close out of this tag and we should see it on our screen here we're going to go back to our main page.xaml and add in an XML namespace so I'm just going to go underneath the Telerik XML namespace we'll just name this custom control and we'll make that equal to the name of our project come underneath our RAD cover flow and we'll just comment that out and we'll begin by typing custom control then we'll use our silverlight control one and close out of that tag so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to display the same user control four times just where we can see a little bit of data in our application so now we're ready to run the application and we can see that we were able to add a custom user control into our RAD cover flow. So this is the first video in a three-part series. The next video we're going to go in more detail about some of the things that you can do with RAD cover flow that was not covered in this first getting started video. And in our last video we will integrate the RAD cover flow with a list box. So again, thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.